Wild Rose Country. That's what they call it. Don't see why you'd name a place after a little flesh-ripping weed when there are so many other distractions. One time a fancy pants came from the city and told me he'd seen the strangest thing on the road. Turns out it was a dandy horse, a bicycle as it came to be known, but with two scraggly looking people on it. Trappers down on their luck, prospectors late to the show, Hell, maybe just a horse crap story from a stranger wanting a bit of attention out here on the prairies. Two men on a dandy horse, though. That's a hell of a story. I think I've got six very different companions joining me on this trip. And between them all, we're gonna cycle around the province. I think it's about 2,000 miles, maybe, and seek out as much fun stuff as we can. As per usual, I don't really have any idea what that's gonna look like. You've got your racing saddle on. We've got the racing saddle so we can go extra fast on, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. Causing some severe down bear pain. You probably want this for your ass. That that would do the trick. I bet you it would. Pain relieving, first aid solved. Now the more I heard about these folk on that contraption, the more I got to thinking. They were up to something. Searching the drawings and the bluffs for clues of mystical creatures, perhaps, or sifting the ground for evidence of a great creator. The Champs I saw is uh, inspiration for the modern day bicycle saddle. My mother used to tell me that too much poking around in other people's business will bring bad luck. Those two must have poked around with an awful big stick to bring rains like I'd never seen before in nearly a lifetime on the prairie. Ollie just said to me that it looked like it was brightening up, but there was a distinct anxiety in his voice. <laughs> like he didn't really want it to. Perfect conditions. They say that fella on that dandy horse was a little touched. Clear off his rocker, some say. Too much time on the road. That would account for why his partners never lasted long on his travels. Colleen quite rightly said, you can fit two people here. Right, slightly restricted, but certainly much better than sleeping outside. Um, Dom says I smell like uh, meat sauce, but uh, I didn't mention anything about his scent um, <laughs> riding behind him for two days straight. I think Amanda is exhausted, <laughs> quite rightly so, it's been a tough day. I don't know how he does it, he's just like, how, how he's just like inhumane I think. He is from inspirational to, he's obviously a bit lunatic. I suppose them dandy horse riders ain't so different from us cowboys. I guess we're all a little touched. We suffer from saddle sores and we don't need a reason to ride the fences and see what's out there. You just need a sturdy pair of boots and a gut that's hankering for a big old plate of something different.